What is going on guys flawless here welcome to a brand new video and as you guys can see in the background it is some more ghost recon wildlands gameplay hopefully you guys enjoy that in the background and today we're going to be talking about a few things that i have learned about this game so as you guys know i did not get to play this game early but i actually have been watching quite a bit of videos doing a little bit of research and finding out different things about this game different aspects because i'm very interested in this game and the different things that it's going to be offering as soon as it comes out and i'm very very excited that it's coming out march 7 so that is very very close to us so i'll definitely be bringing so much gameplay as soon as this game comes out uh, i probably won't be pre-ordering it because i know a way of getting it early so i won't really be telling you guys how to do that because i'm just not allowed to but i will be getting it early so i won't be pre-ordering it but i will be uploading gameplay as soon as uh, I can without getting a copyright strike so basically let's get down to it so a few things that I did learn is that this game has dynamic weather and now similar to Battlefield 1 although I wouldn't want to compare this game with Battlefield 1 in any way shape or form um, it reminds me of Battlefield 1 that has dynamic weather Call of Duty is not really a good comparison of dynamic weather because their weather system is absolutely trash and Battlefield 1's weather system is freaking ridiculous like it's so cool and it gives you a different feel for the game so when you're playing rush and you see the fog coming in you know you're gonna have to play close quarters combat and that really helps the defense team and as soon as that fog goes out you are in deep shit you better have a freaking lmg or like a medic weapon and it definitely changes the perspective of the game a lot between defenders and attackers and this is an open world game that is another thing on this game it's an open world game so you can be spotted at any given time from a helicopter somebody passing the road and they'll give intels to the cartels so you definitely got to be careful with what the hell you are doing also there's going to be 26 bosses in this game maybe they're going to add more but so far that's the number that is to my knowledge so 26 bosses that is a shitload of bosses about 20 locations i don't know if this number is going to be accurate by the time they release the game but that's what i've heard is 20 locations there's going to be about 60 vehicles that's counting cars helicopters motorcycles like a whole bunch of of vehicles are going to be added into this game and it's going to be really cool to see how it is like if you're going to be spotted really quickly and get taken out as soon as you're in a helicopter or something like that you're going to have to be extremely stealthy in this game and the co-op mode is something i'm very interested in because me and my friends like playing games together like just like you guys probably like playing games with your friends everybody likes doing that so this whole co-op thing is very interesting to me and Definitely me and a couple of friends are definitely going to be hitting this up in the co-op mode. And I really feel interested to be in communication with my friends to accomplish something. So we're going to be communicating from a mountain saying, hey, there's three enemies on the left side. Watch out. Snipe them. And we're going to do this thing called snipe or sync snipe. And it's going to be really cool. I know you can do it in single player with the, with the AI bots. So it's definitely really cool that you can do this. And I definitely appreciate this game being pretty much mainly a co-op game. You can also play single player and it does give you three teammates and they're basically computer controlled. But I don't think a lot of people are going to be playing the single player. You'll probably play it once, get it done, but mainly co-op, it's for this game. That's basically what's going to be carrying this game through its life cycle. And you get total freedom, which is really cool. You get to do your own thing. You get to basically roam the freaking locations and do whatever the hell you want it's not like you need to follow somebody and you got to go to this place first you probably have to do a couple of things first or something like that some kind of a tutorial but it's an open world game so i assume you're allowed to do whatever the hell you want in terms of picking the missions or who you want to engage and things like that so Definitely let me know if you guys actually would consider buying this game. I would definitely like to know your opinion. Hit me up on Twitter, guys, if you do want some designs. And I will see you guys in the next upload.